I'm creating a video that empowers women. It's women in unity joining together. Wonder Woman. Through dance, through personal story, and to show the world that when women come together in unison and in unity, we have a lot of power. The main reason I wanted to get involved was just from the word woman's unity, those two words. When I first came in, um, it was a little bit unnerving. I wasn't sure what to expect, to be honest with you. First of all, I was so impressed at how many people showed up. When I walked in the first day and saw 50 people here, I was like, oh my God. I have been um, a lifelong dancer. We have people that have been dancing their whole lives and people that hardly ever dance ever in their lives. That was really good for one hour. Some are hairdressers, some are office corporate women, some are nurses, some are just dance teachers, some are school teachers. Everyone has a story to tell. And I was a person of the 60s, very idealistic about changing the world. When I graduated college, I, I saw that the path was very limited in terms of what women could really do, particularly in the field that I wanted to go into, or frankly, in any professional field. I was in abusive relationships and I didn't even know it because it's that norm, you know? It's that norm of like, oh, well, this is how men treat women. No four-year-old asked to be beaten. That's insane. No 16-year-old virgin wants to be raped. Nobody marries someone thinking that it's gonna be abusive and violent, and they're gonna live in fear. I was born at a time when there wasn't too much for a woman to do with those day, in those days. There wasn't that much for, for, especially at my age. And I remember sitting at the dinner table with my dad, who was on the state police, and he said, have you ever considered being a police officer? And I, I actually laughed, and I'm like, police officer? Because you have to remember, this was 1980. I had a 19-year marriage that ended uh, about two and a half years ago in domestic violence. And the past two and a half years has been just picking up the pieces. So many women I know were um, were harassed, but we didn't call it that. It was more, it was our fault that we led someone on or because we, we dressed provocatively. I was just in a, a domestic violence situation. Yeah, so that is like the biggest thing in my life that I have overcome. I was a single mother and I went from being that single mother to being a lieutenant on the state police to the director of security. Like you can do anything you wanna do as long as you have that ambition and, and you want to achieve that. I got involved in this project because it is so important for women to have a voice. We need this. We as, as, as women need this. We need to be unified. We need, we need to show people how strong and resilient that we can be. It's made me recognize that I'm capable of a whole lot more than I originally thought. Nowadays, there's a woman that she can go out and work and she can do what she wants. And she's strong and positive. And she can say, I can do it.
Yesterday my life was filled with rain Sunny You smiled at 